Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about Azure AI Studio, which is a cutting edge platform designed to simplify a generative AI application development. It is in public preview and it was released on November 15, 2023. If you look at this Azure AI Studio, it is a unified a tooling experience solution which you can feel if you use this one so the benefits of this tool is a developers can explore build test and deploy their AI innovations at scale whether creating a custom co-pilots enhancing research delivering call center solutions developing bots or a combination of these Azure AI Studio provides a comprehensive support. Okay, it integrates a pre-built service models, prompt orchestration, and evaluation. In addition to the default Azure AI services which we have in the Azure subscriptions, you can also use this Azure AI Studio and machine learning platforms in console. So Azure AI Studio supports on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Just like our Visual Studio, this is a kind of solution that Microsoft has introduced for artificial intelligence. It supports languages like SQL, PowerShell, Python, KQL, Apache Spark and PySpark. You can manage and query SQL Server, PostgreSQL and Azure Data Explorer. So let's see how we can leverage this Azure AI Studio and we have got various options under this. As soon as you click on this Azure AI Studio, it will give you an option to choose or uh, to create a new solution. As I have already created a couple of projects in Azure AI Studio. So there is a separate URL for this which is like Azure AI Studio like which you can navigate it through. AI dot azure.com so this is the console which you can see in order to build your own co-pilot with azure ai on your data this is the option that you can choose okay however along with this the co-pilots you can use build custom ai assistants with the assistance api using this azure ai studio and you can incorporate multi-modality so if you want if you want to build a uh, large language models or if you want to develop a generative ai for your applications and for your business so there are various model catalogs which you can navigate llama microsoft phi 2 and llama 270b mistral lodge these are the language models that are available which you can use for your use case and you can also use gpt4 text embedding gpt 3.5 turbo and things like that okay and if you want to navigate through more azure ai tools or services for your business you can go with this azure ai sdk which you can uh, use it for your business needs so let's if you wanted to uh, create your own project using this AI studio you need to have a valid organization subscription so along with that subscription you also need to request an access to Azure open AI service using this form I'm going to provide this form in the description link where you can use it for your request to access Azure Open AI service. You cannot use your personal subscriptions or a trial subscriptions to work on this Azure AI Studio. So though you can create it, but you'll not be able to access it full fledged to test all the configurations and settings that are there under Azure AI Studio. If you look at this, this is the form that you need to fill. You need to provide your name, first name, last name, and how many are you subscription IDs that you would like to access this service okay and here they have mentioned subscription must belong to your organization 
okay if you provide your any other personal ids or personal subscription ids it will get denied okay you have to provide your company email address only no personal addresses like gmail hotmail outlook account will not be accepted to get access to this azure open ai so why do we need this azure open ai so let's try to uh, click on this azure ai studio let's say i want to build my own co-pilot with azure ai and i want to use my data so as soon as i click on this build your own co-pilot it will ask you to create a kind of new project or you can choose existing AI project as I have got already a project so let me try to create a new project and here it will ask you to choose a project name by default it has picked up with random name you can give any name whatever that you want similarly this is the resource that is there already in my tenancy so I'm going to use a new resource and click on next so you have to have a valid subscription so here I've got a visual studio enterprise subscription which is not a valid subscription for this Azure AI studio okay so I've got this uh, resource group which is getting created new or else I can choose existing resource group okay and location you can choose the location that you wanted to deploy this Azure AI Studio own copilot session. Let me choose something like West US. And here it is. This subscription has not been enabled for Azure OpenAI because the large language models which are there in Azure subscription. If you wanted to consume that, you want to request access to Azure AI services. So as soon as you click on this, it will take you to this console. okay so this is the form which i have shown already you have to fill this form and microsoft is going to approve based on the details that you have provided for your requirement okay so since this subscription is not valid i am not going through the next steps so if i go to the next here it will ask you to choose a, a model which you wanted to use it for your business in order to choose this model you have to get a request access to Azure OpenAI service and that needs to be approved. Otherwise, you will not be able to work on this. Though it is showing as a review and a finish. So let me create an AI project. It will simply create a project, but you will not be able to use it. So this will take a couple of minutes as I have already created azure ai studio project so let me navigate through this so as soon as i click on this right these are the projects which are there in my subscriptions so i'll click on this and see here it is asking me to go through this azure ai studio so i'll click on this launch studio or you can directly go to ai.azure.com which will show all of your projects that has been created okay so this is the recent project which i am using it with this ea.azure.com so you might get a question okay what is the login id that i need to use for ea.azure.com it is same as to the top subscription if you have got access to the subscription you can use it for ea.azure.com as well okay so let's navigate through the some options if i go through this uh, the tools and then playground here you can see that your Azure AI services resource subscription is not enrolled to use Azure Open AI service. Though you have used, though you have created this Azure AI Studio project, but you will not be able to use it until unless you enroll it to Azure Open AI service with your organizational subscription and email ID. Microsoft is going to validate and then they are going to upload it. If you provide your Gmail account, Outlook account or any other personal IDs, it's not going to get approved from Microsoft. Okay. 
and make sure you use your organization subscription only so just a kind of high level use cases and here you can see you can build your model and you can apply it for your uh, business right you can see uh, by typing the prompts and then you can see the reply what it needs to provide or what is the data that you have and how to uh, execute the data to be open for the customers Let, let's say um, i want to view the data or i want to see the list of azure services so you can build the data based on the models that you're going to choose using azure open AI services and you can provide the responses as well let's say uh, hey azure how are you so the chart has to reply the chart bot has to reply hey i am fine how about you so you can simply set such kind of settings using this open AI models in azure ai open studio okay so if i go through this evaluation so here also you can see how your data is getting uh, evaluated and how you wanted to see that data to be available for the users so you can evaluate all of that using this option and you also have the prompt flow how it can be uh, configured for your requirement so whether it is a chart flow or whether it is a, a standard flow in, in addition to the evaluation so here we have got a prompt flow that can be used whether you wanted to enable your data for chart flow just like chart GPT or uh, similar to copilot you can use this chart flow so if i click on this chart flow it will again ask you to this folder name and click on create based on the keywords and based on the prompts that you give the data will be generated and the output will be shared to the users based on this flows only okay so also you can see that evaluation flow there are uh, um, multiple flows that you can use for your business okay so multi on q and on your data let's say your data is purely for question and answers like q and a you can build that using this uh, clone method of the flow okay q and a on your data web classification chart with wikipedia okay so let me come back to this again you can see that q and a relevance evaluation q and a groundedness evaluation so classification accuracy evaluation so it all depends on the chat flow only because it is just like whether whatever the question that you type you need to get a response and you need to get accurate response now we have got chat gpt version 4 3.5 which is free version and also we have got uh, copilot which is integrated with internet we also have various AI solutions available in the market however those are developed for public uses or it means it is available in the public internet which you can use it for your requirements if not let's say you have your own data and that you want to build your own a custom co-pilots or chat GPT kind of solutions for your business exclusively then you can use these models which is very simple in order to develop anything from the scratch which is difficult right so using this azure open ai studio you can navigate and you can use the existing models and apply for your data not only for your data you can also build your a custom speeches a neural voices how you can use it for your applications okay so here is the option that how you can connect to your data for your business using this components data and you can also use indexes and how you wanted to connect where is your data stored is it on blob stories or is it on any other type of uh, uh, like 
data lake storage is or one lake whatever that you have the data you can connect to that and enable and also you can choose indexes because once you have the data you can define the indexes how it needs to be configured and how it needs to be fetched how it needs to be read write whatever that you can build the indexes for your custom data based on this options okay so for now this particular azure ai studio is in public preview because microsoft is still developing more and more features and applying to this azure ai studio and you can clearly see that this is the preview mode when it is in preview mode it is not recommended for production deployments because as i said the more and more development is in progress microsoft might apply uh, different types of features and settings and they might be doing some configuration changes for the existing solution so remember it is still in preview mode once it is generally available you can build it for your business applications and you can use it for your real-time production workloads till now you can use it for dev and test environments you can test it you can apply various types of uh, chart flows indexes data integrations and things like that and then you can test it using this azure ai studio okay if you wanted to a kind of a real-time exposure to this azure ai studio i am going to come up with a few more videos in the upcoming sessions once it is generally available please subscribe if you have not subscribed already to get more and more insights of artificial intelligence and cloud technologies 